Hi, this is Brian with My Bella Basilicata. I want to welcome you back to our series of short videos on genealogy research here in southern Italy. I want to talk a little bit today about some of the things that you won't find when researching your ancestry uh, in southern Italy. Uh, two of the things that might be very common in researching your ancestors in your home country uh, that we get asked about frequently that you won't find here in southern Italy will be obituaries and graves for your ancestors. Um, unfortunately, illiteracy in southern Italy was very high, even up to the period of World War II. Uh, newspapers um, aren't as common as you will find in many English-speaking countries. Um, generally, you only find a newspaper in the larger cities, in the provincial capitals. And obituaries just do not appear in these newspapers. Um, the only time you might find a story or anything that might resemble an obituary is maybe for an important or figure or a political figure when they pass away. There might be a story in one of the uh, newspapers, but you won't find these for every person. Um, you won't find newspapers in small towns or even in smaller cities. Um, unfortunately, those records just do not exist. Um, the other thing that you won't find frequently uh, might be a grave for your ancestors. Um, cemeteries in Italy, uh, the cemeteries that we have now, go back to the period of when uh, Napoleon controlled Italy between 1806 and 1815. One of the things that we talked about before was some of the civil French civil laws or French codes that he introduced. And one of those was the French system of cemeteries. Um, this required that a cemetery be located outside of the town. Um, previously, many important people were buried in the church, um, or bodies were buried in different locations. It could be very unsanitary. Um, so French law indicated that there would be one location out of town for each town that would have a cemetery. So even in larger towns or cities, you will only find maybe one cemetery for that entire town. And they expand the cemetery as the town increases. And the cemeteries are controlled by the town or the comune. Um, and the other thing that becomes very unusual for people is these are actually spaces that are rented. Um, these are a type of mausoleum. Um, you might have seen pictures of these. Very common also in the New Orleans area in southern United States. Um, so the bodies were put into a type of crypt. And generally, these are rented from the comune or the town offices for a period of 30, 50, or maybe 100 years. And if somebody is not still in the town to continue to pay that rent when it comes up for renewal, the remains of that person are then taken out and put into a communal grave. So that grave is no longer there for somebody to go and visit. So perhaps your great grandparents were buried um, in your ancestral town, but if the family has all left and nobody was there to continue to pay the rent for that space, um, that you may not find something to go to the cemetery and see for your family. Doesn't mean that that is always the case, but frequently uh, we go to cemeteries with visitors and there will be no ancestral grave um, that they can go and see or visit. Um, so those are two things that are very important that we are frequently asked about, uh, obituaries and the cemetery system that are very different here in Italy that, than you, what you might find in your home country. So appreciate you joining us today. Um, you can find us on Facebook. Um, we're also on Instagram. You will find these videos on our YouTube channel. And you can find out more information about our genealogy research services at our website, mybellabasilicata.com. Ciao.